good day my lovely people you're welcome to the channel this is Yuglo fashion thank you so much for stopping by today i'll be showing you how to make this lovely abaya gown with front slits so please stay tuned to the end and enjoy the tutorial like and share the video and please if you haven't subscribed do so this is the measurement i'll be using for this tutorial and also the fabric is crepe fabric it's not stretchy and i bought three yards for the abaya so first of all i marked the rough parts the rough edge so from there i measure 11 inches that's the nipple point the half length the hip length and also the length of the gown and i added allowance for m so after that I came back to measure the circumference, the total circumference of the nipple point, which is 48 divided by 4. Total circumference of the underbust, uh, sorry, of the half length. If you notice, I did not measure the underbust because it's not really necessary in this tutorial. Then the circumference of the hip, everything divided by 4. And I added 2 inches, 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for seam allowance having done that i measured the circumference of the shoulder the circumference of the shoulder divided by two from that point i measured seven inches then I slant the seven, I just marked the seven inches to the edge, then back to the shoulder, I connected the two together. At this angle, I measured one inch in, then curved it out just to make my arm O curve. So whatever I have at the nipple point, I added one inch to it to make the slant, the armhole slope. So then I connected everything together. I marked this part the back. So that's to tell you I cut the back first. After that, I measured the length and uh, the M. The circumference of the hip, I transfer it to the M and I added three inches extra. So this depends on how wide you want the down of the abaya gown to be, but let it not be too wide. So the three inches for me is okay. So that you won't have excess or it won't look too bogus. now having done with all, all, all that i placed the remaining i placed my back bodies on the remaining fabric then i left half inch at the front you can see the joint parts there so i left half inch at the front <clears throat> to make the slits you know the slit at the front then after that i measure the neckline so the neckline, I do not know this part is not really showing, but you still understand. So I marked 3.5 inches for the neckline, 3.5 by 1. Then at the edge here, I marked 1 inch, then slant it back to the 3.5. Don't worry, I'll drop a link in the description box that will show you how I did this neckline so after that I separated the front the back from the front then I readjust the 
back at the front bodies. Remember I left half inch allowance at the front of the at the front of the front bodies. So now I marked six inches again. I came down with six inches. So this is optional. You can do more than that if you want it to show your cleavage. But for this, it's okay at six inches. Then the 3.5, I try to reshape the 3.5 out and I notch the half inch I left at the middle of the front bodies. Having done that, I folded the remaining fabric also into two to mark and uh, to cut out the sleeve. So the length of the sleeve, since it's going to reach the wrist, I used 24 inches for that. So sorry, I had to return the tape rule. So that part is not really is not useful again so i later marked another 24 inches starting from here then two inches after that i marked five inches and then i ruled out everything after ruling them out at the five inches which is the fullest part of the sleeve that's the bicep i measured the circumference of the sleeve you see this my client she has this big sleeve so the sleeve is 20 inches divided by two divided by two then i added one inch for ease and one inch for allowance you know it's not going to be firm it's going to be free so that's the one inch is i had it then after that, whatever I have there, I transfer it to the two inches I measured and I added one inch to it to make this land shape. From that point where I started from, I marked three inches, then connect it with the cuff shape, like so. Then at the M line, I measured the bicep circumference and added another three inches allowance. So it's going to be in form of A, or let me say trumpet sleeve. You can see it has a shape at the down. So I just reshaped everything and cut it out. So this is our sleeve now. I also cut out the rough edge because this is not going to give me a good finishing if I, if I don't cut it out. So I'll be cutting two of these, you know it's two sleeve. Having done that, I, I added my rhinestone on the fabric. Then so I cut my facing and I added interface to it. I used paper stay. Next thing now to do is to first stitch the front piece together. After stitching the, the middle, then I went ahead to stitch the neckline together. Having done with all of that, I used my hemming gum to gum the down the hem line of the facing. You can see this is after gumming. So I just opened one side to fix the shoulder together.
and I stitched on it. So after stitching the shoulder, I went ahead to stitch the measurement also. The next thing now is to fix the sleeve to it. I've also aimed the sleeve. You can see how neat it is. So I'll just stitch the side the measurements out then fix it to the arm oh thank you very much for watching this video to the end thank you and stay blessed bye